How's it going, guys? Uh, what you see before you is my uh, Remington 870. This is uh, the tactical home defense model. Uh, just kind of your off-the-shelf, run-of-the-mill uh, tactical home defense. Uh, it's got the extended tube on it. does have the uh, fixed stock. Uh, other than that, nothing really fancy about it. Uh, what I want to do, and the reason why I've got this before you, is I want to do some modifications to this gun. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by changing the stock out. That's, one of, that's probably the, one of the biggest downsides or problems that I have with this gun is the particular uh, length of pull that the stock affords. My stature does not, does not allow me to shoot these very comfortably, and so I always prefer having a bit of a shorter length of pull. Remington offers a youth model which has a little bit uh, shorter length of pull overall and it still allows you to, con to maintain the fixed stock. Uh, and that's a really good option if that's what you want to go with. What I chose to go with is uh, the Blackhawk uh, Spec Ops NRS stock. This is the non-recoil reducing one. Uh, the other one's the Knox stock. And uh, this is also made by Knox, but it's a Knox uh, recoil reducing. And I've heard just too many bad things about it. So I decided to steer clear with that and just go with a non-recoil -re reducing. Not that recoil is a big, a big problem with me, so yeah, I'm not really uh, too worried about that. Um, but I did want to have something that would be a little bit more comfortable overall length of pull. I am intrigued by the idea of having a... Um, uh, having a pistol grip on the shotgun as well. I'm a big I'm a big fan of pistol grips. I think that it allows for a little bit uh, better trigger control. There are some downsides to that and maybe we'll talk about that um, as we go along in the video. This is not going to be a tutorial video guys. This this is a super easy thing to install. Like I mean you all, as long as you have a screwdriver you can pretty much install this and so it's not going to really be a an install video. If I find that it is truly a, a more difficult thing to install, I may go back through and do a tutorial video. But for the most part, this is just going to be a little before and after and a little philosophy vid. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and install it, and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, there's the stock installed on the shotgun. Uh, like I said, super super easy um, to install. Nothing nothing major. Nothing hard or difficult to do. Uh, however, the, the, the forend does require you to break the shotgun down in order to change it out. Um, you should be able to, you should know how to do that anyway, just because that's uh, your, your traditional maintenance. Um, but as you can see, the, the original forend is still on the shotgun. Um, what I found out was when I took it all down, uh, the sliding tube, which is underneath the, uh, the shotgun forend here, is incompatible with this piece. On the box or on the packaging, it says, Stock fits Remington 870 pump shotguns. <laughs> uh, however, the forend was not compatible. The sliding tube underneath the stock forend is not compatible with the new forend from Blackhawk. When I was reading, when I was in, when installing, I was reading in the instructions. And let me read this to you. It said that has a note here, and it says some shotguns have different length sliding tube assemblies. The enclosed forend may not be compatible with all lengths of sliding tubes. Check fit for compatibility, which I did, didn't, it was not compatible. Contact Blackhawk customer service for replacement forend options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact Blackhawk and uh, see what they're willing to do with it. I don't know if it's going to be something that's going to cost me more money to, uh, to, you know, additional money to have it shipped or have replacement parts sent out, but I'm going to see, I'm going to give Blackhawk a chance to actually uh, make it better. Uh, because you know, if they're advertising this fits 870s and this doesn't fit, and they don't, and they don't uh, give you something that uh, allows it to adapt, I think that's bogus. So I'm gonna I'm gonna contact them, give them a chance to uh, rectify the situation, and uh, see what they do. And I'm gonna give you a, I'll give you guys an update video later on on how it performs. One of the things that's also kind of an advantage, which is kind of super cool uh, for um, this, is the that it has a little storage inside of the uh, the handle. It has a little little plate here that goes on the bottom. Anyway, it's something you could stick like batteries in there. You could stick like some a little tube of oil or grease. Um, you know, maybe a couple cleaning wads or something like that. Just just something that uh, gives you a little bit of a storage option. So anyway, if you're running a optic with batteries, uh, you could stick a you could stick some spare batteries in there, something like that. So anyway, that's a that's a kind of a cool little option with this stock. All right, so let's talk a little bit of philosophy as to why I chose uh, to put this stock on here. Uh, the main reason, obviously, is that I have uh, my stature doesn't allow me to shoot full length of poles very uh, very easily. 
My wife has even a worse time shooting full length of pole uh, stocks. And so really this was, this was totally for ergonomics uh, for us to make this shotgun a lot more usable for us as well as if we're, we're shooting with a backpack on or something like that that's, that, that brings the stock out a little further from our shoulder and makes it so we can actually adapt the stock. And I think that's a, that's a huge, uh, huge advantage for the shotgun. You know, a lot of times people, when they, when they, buy, their, when they buy their guns, uh, they don't necessarily take into consideration everybody that's going to be using that gun. Um, and that's one thing that I suggest that everybody, that all my viewers, all my subs do, is uh, when you go to purchase your firearms, think about who's going to be using those firearms. If it's just you, then get whatever you want. But if it's something that uh, that you that your my, wife might end up shooting, or that your girlfriend, or your kids, uh, think about them and keep them in mind because this stock's going to allow for a much much more diverse usability uh, when it comes to different kinds of people that uh, are going to be shooting the gun. So anyway, that's it, guys. That's uh, that's the uh, the Blackhawk Spec Ops. Um, NRS stock and like I said we're going to give you a little range report after we put uh, some few, a few rounds through it and, uh, and let you guys know how it goes. I'm also going to contact uh, Blackhawk and uh, check out uh, my options uh, for you know, fixing the, uh, the, the uh, forehand there. So, Alright guys don't forget to uh, rate the video, uh, leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think um, and as always guys thanks very very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Wait. Uh, no, no, okay. I got him. Oh, he ran away. Did I get him? Oh, I think he ran away. No, I got him. You got him? For real?